Well, hi everyone. If you've been watching me for a while, you might know that I made these up at a friend's place on his shrink and stretcher. Well, today I'm going to fit them in the truck. I'll show you what I've done. Now, what I made those pieces up for would support a piece of rubber to go up and along here so when you shut the door you've got a bit of uh, rubber there to seal the door or hopefully it'll stop any wind from going through because these old 34s they have never really had a door rubber anyway this is what I've gone and done I've just trimmed it back I did have to put a couple of slits in here which I'll just weld up and for the moment I've just pop riveted on but I'll probably go back and weld all this on. Well, I've gotten this side on and that was relatively easy. I did again have to put a couple of little cuts here. That's just on with some pop rivets. Then what I've got to do is put this piece down here. Well, as you can see here, I can't shut the door. And that's because it's hitting just up and along here. So I'll trim this back all the way along and probably take a little bit off the front here as well. And now with this piece all trimmed up here, I can shut the door, no problem. Like the other side, I'm gonna to have to weld it all up. But before I do that, there's still this piece here yet to do. So the bottom of the column needs a bit of support and I welded this in as well today. I really like this bare metal here. It'd be pretty cool if I took all the paint off it and painted it with some clear. Well, another thing I've done here is made this cardboard template. It holds the rod in there and supports the bottom of the steering shaft. Then made it out of a piece of six millimeter angle line. I've cut some nice angles and rounded off all the edges. All I've got to do now is drill a couple of holes into the chassis and bolt the whole thing on. Well, I've got a bit of an update today on the handbrake slash emergency brake. You know, these cables I grabbed from the wrecking yard a little while ago, well, they were out of a VE Commodore, and this is a VK Commodore diff. They went straight onto it, no problem. But all I've gone and done is just cut the cable down a little bit. Quite easy to do, you just take off the end of the cable there, pull the cable through, and cut with an angle grinder the outside core. These little plastic things, well, they just unscrew. You simply unscrew them and screw them back on again to the cut down cable. I've put a little bit of pipe here, which is the same diameter as these ends. And I've just tack welded them in from this side. Well, that's a really easy way to do these handbrakes. I think that'll work fine. All I've got to do now is come up with some sort of assembly here to join these cables. Or I might go with like a, a Willwood setup and and make my own clamping system to go through here. And well, for the rest of the afternoon, I've been making this contraption. This is gonna be the equalizer on the handbrake. Well, at least I hope so. As you can see, I've tapped some thread there in a top plate. I've got a bit of tubing there with an eight mil hole, and it's two pieces of six millimeter flat plate. What I've got to do now is once it's cooled down, I've got to just grind this face flat and then I'm going to drill a hole right through here, the size of the cable. I've got some little bolts here as well that'll go into there and I'm hoping these, when they're threaded in here, will crush the cable. I'll clean it all up and then we'll see if it works or not. And so I'm done with this equaliser. I've drilled some holes all the way through for the cable to go in. 
here and here. And obviously you can see I've got some high tensile nuts here. And I'll throw it in the truck and show you how it's gonna work. And well, here I have the handbrake or emergency brake all assembled. And as you can see, the cable runs through this block here and that booker rod or threaded rod there runs through the top of it. These will all get clamped off later and I will cut the cables later as well. And as you can see, what will happen is when you pull that handbrake up, this will pull this forward this way and it'll pull the cables and in turn, turn the handbrake on. I might even cut this rod here a bit shorter. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave that until the final assembly of the car. Anyway, I think that looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Well, you would have seen in another episode where I cut the chassis here and welded in some engine mounts. Well, I've gone and cut a piece of three millimeter flat steel here and it's gonna go in here like that. For the moment, I'll just tack weld this in and I'll weld it all up properly when everything's back off the chassis and the engine's back out. And I've also done the other side here. It's just stuck in with a piece of tape at the moment just to hold it up. I'll have to weld that one in as well. What I'm also gonna do is run a little bit of a gusset through here. It'll come off from here and run down to here. And that'll just help support that engine mount that little bit more. I'll have to have a better think about it on this side though. Let me bring some light over. Because I need to run a fuel line and some brake lines down from the master cylinder all the way up in there, all the way down, I'll probably run through here, down through the front and into the calipers that aren't on at the moment. But uh, the fuel line will have to go into this fuel pump here. I can't have them running underneath, as that would be a jacking point and you wouldn't want to crush them. So I've got to get them up in the chassis, and come back out and come through here or something like that. I, I gotta figure something out. So I've got that plate just tacked in there and I've also put these gussets on the engine mounts here. Just showing you the other side as well. That gusset's in there and that plate's just all tacked on. When I pull the engine out and pull the body off, I weld all this in properly. Anyway guys, that's a wrap for today. Hopefully I'll catch us on the next one. Have a great rest of your day.